Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is actually a physique update from Big Remy. So finally we get to see a little bit more from our two times Mr. Olympia, Big Remy. And it's been a while since we saw something like this. So basically in this video, he filmed this video, it's, I don't know, some kind of advertising for something, like different sports are in this video, I'm not sure what it is about exactly, but uh, we can see Big Ramy's physique in, in a couple of different angles. So at uh, nine and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia, this is where Big Remy is at right now. So first we get to see this angle like when he's uh, deadlifting and here you can see like his arms and his shoulders and his forearms as well. Like he's holding on to a decent size and like he's lean enough. He doesn't look like he's retiring. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be doing the Mr. Olympia this year. If he was, you would probably know about it by now. But uh, maybe Hanul Classic next year? I don't know. Here you can see, like, once again, there is some vascularity, so his conditioning is decent, the shoulders are there, and I also heard from somebody from over there that basically Big Grammy did some kind of uh, pilgrimage uh, during uh, June, month of June, which takes like a month of fasting, traveling, and so on, and he was most likely off the gear, and now it seems like he's slowly coming back into his um, old uh, shape. Now, how good this shape is, can he still be a contender to, you know, challenge for the biggest titles in the world, like uh, Mr. Olympia or Arnold Classic? Honestly, I don't even know. I mean, if he was fasting for like a month and traveling while doing that and being off the gear, and now he just came back and he's still looking pretty freaking massive... I don't know, I mean, it's been a while since he competed, so maybe next time he starts prepping, he's gonna have more of a desire, like, more of a fire in him and, like, try to really push and maybe bring his physique to a, to a really good level. Like, here, as you can see, the, the arms didn't really lose the size. They're still pretty big. Like, yeah, the triceps are shorter, the biceps are as well, but that was the case even last time we saw him on stage, and he still looked pretty good at the Arnold Classic. And right now, people are kind of dismissing him, but really, if you look at this, he doesn't look that bad. Like, there is a possibility of him coming back and still looking very good. Check this out as well when he's doing the posing uh, right here. So, yeah, like, when he's moving and, like, overall the size of his body and, like, the shape of the shoulders and the arms... To me, it looks like there is a big possibility of him coming back and looking at least something similar to 2023 Arnold Classic, where, in my opinion, he actually looked, you know, pretty good. Will we ever see 2020 version of Big Remy, or like one of the prior years when he was younger and more fresh and like uh, he had all the body parts and everything was just full and aesthetic and so on? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna ever come back. But maybe like a new, different version of Big Remy, which is pretty much just as big, with the muscle looking a little bit different, but like still very massive, and like maybe he brings the best conditioning of his life, and like with his size, his frame, it can still be very competitive. Like maybe he can even challenge for the Arnold Classic title. And yeah, I believe I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be doing the Mr. Olympia, but maybe the Arnold Classic next year. Who knows? Maybe even Dubai Pro or something like that. I mean, right now, Arnold Classic is offering more money than the Mr. Olympia. And you know that Big Remy cancelled the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing twice already, so his chances of doing well at the Mr. Olympia are slim. Arnold Classic, I think he has a bigger chance, but Dubai Pro, that's where he might have a pretty decent chance. And if he does that show and does well and, let's say, wins... Which is not that impossible, like, the guys that competed this year are, like, top 10 guys. And Big Ram, I believe, still can be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. So he can potentially win the Dubai Pro next year and go to the Mr. Olympia after that. I don't think that's impossible, especially after seeing what he looks like right now after fasting for a month and doing this pilgrimage or whatever. I believe Big Ram is not done. It seems like that right now. And if he decides to retire, I believe he's going to announce it. But uh, as of right now, I'm pretty sure he's not done yet. What do you guys think? All right, the next news is uh, not very good news. So the 212 competitor, the New York Pro winner, Ole Krivi, if that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, basically. But uh, he posted this story 
all of a sudden, like there was nothing else, and he just posted this story a couple of hours ago, and he says, a time to healing with big hope in my heart and strong spirit inside of me. If God sent me this hardship, he knows I could survive this. Hmm. I don't know what the hell happened here. If you guys have any information, feel free to comment down below. But as you can see, like, uh, it looks like one of his, one knee is injured and the ankle as well. And also he used the word survive. So if I saw only one leg injured, I would think it's like a muscle tear or something like that. But both of his legs are injured and he's in a hospital bed and he says... If God sent me this, he knows I can su I can survive this. So what the hell is happening? Is it something like really bad or like is it some kind of a accident, car accident or something like that? Both of his legs are messed up. I mean, maybe like he injured one leg and then like all of the tension went to the other. So he injured the other one as well, like on the training or somewhere else. I mean, I hope it's just that. I hope he like sprained the ankle and... Uh, I don't know, has a muscle tear in his quad or something like that. He can recover from that, but I hope it's just that. Anyways, he is out of the Mr. Olympia 212, that's for sure. And this guy won the New York Pro against the Carrot Bajo, uh, who was, I believe, third at the Mr. Olympia, third or fourth. Him and uh, Angel Calderon are like top three, top four. So this guy could have been like top three at the Mr. Olympia, and who knows, if Keegan Pearson came in off or um, Sean Clarida, maybe this guy would have placed even higher, I don't know, but he is extremely, extremely good, as you can see, like, his conditioning from behind is, is insane, like, the maturity as well, like, he's a very, very good 212 competitor, definitely one of the best guys in the 212 in the world, but he's gonna have to take this year off, I hope it's something that's not too dangerous, uh, and I hope he's gonna go back to the stage next year after he recovers, but I don't know, as of now, what the hell happened to him? I wish him speedy recovery, but it seems like it's something bad since he's using the word survive. If you guys have any information about this, tell us down below. All right, next up, we got a little physique update from Brion Ainsley. Why am I talking about Brion Ainsley right now? I didn't talk about him before the Dubai Pro or all these shows. I'm talking about him right now because I honestly believe this guy should retire already. Now, yeah, he won the Dubai Pro, and he even beat Urs Kalecinski at the Arnold Classic UK, and a lot of people thought he should have beaten him at the Arnold Classic Ohio, but I never saw it this way, not even close, because of these freaking legs. I mean, his legs were never really a strong point for him, but they were okay when he was winning the Mr. Olympia, and after that, as it happens to many bodybuilders after a certain age, Prion's legs started to melt, like, quite quickly. And at this point, this is what they look like. The outer sweep is literally non-existent. There is no outer sweep whatsoever. And you can even argue and make a point that his right leg has an indentation instead of a sweep. I mean, it's, it's basically a sweep, but in reverse, you know. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I never felt like this guy should have beaten Urs Kolecinski. Like, yeah, his upper body is great, and he brings good conditioning, and his back is phenomenal, and so on. I'm gonna show you the full physique update, but the legs from the front just look like a disaster. I would, as a, as a, if I was a judge, I would definitely punish this badly. I wouldn't want these kind of physiques winning the classic physique shows. I have nothing personal against Brian Ainsley. I mean, I'm sure he's a great guy, but when I see a physique like this without legs in classic... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, I believe, I want to think that classic physique is all about the balance, the proportions, the shape, the symmetry. And I mean, these kind of legs, you shouldn't be allowed to win shows looking like this. Let's be real here. He did so well in his career. Like, he won the Mr. Olympia twice. Uh, he placed very high at some Mr. Olympia in Arnold Classics, and he won some big shows like the Dubai Pro this year. And as long as the judges keep rewarding him for this, he will he will continue competing, I have no doubt. But I don't understand, I simply don't understand how are they able to ignore 
those freaking legs. I mean, yeah, like uh, from the back, he is amazing once again. The back is phenomenal, especially for classic. And he is pretty much very consistent, always in condition, always in condition. The glutes, the hamstrings, he's definitely doing the work. From what I heard from Chris Cormier on the podcast, he is a really hard worker. So, you know, give him props for that. And yeah, like in the other poses from the side as well, he is looking very good. He has a good shape, good structure. But, I mean, those legs, it would just throw me off. It throws me off every time I see it. And I don't agree with him winning these shows and beating guys like Urs Kalicinski. But, yeah, I guess the judges uh, feel uh, differently. I don't know what you guys think, but whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.